From Aesthetic V Blog here, and I'm with Jimmy Harold, the zany wild singer from Hillbilly Harold. How you doing today? I'm good. So what's going on? What are you working on? Working on a new record. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Who's producing? Keith Olson. Wow. That's yeah. kind of huge. Yeah, it's a big deal. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about your process and how you came together with the band. Well, I mean, the band started couple years ago it's been like five or six well maybe six years now but um, uh, just started a rock and roll band you know I uh, met Slash and uh, I was a bartender at the Hamburger Hamlet and he came in and you know I'm such a big fan of Guns N' Roses and we would talk about music and just became buddies and he was like you should put together a rock and roll band so that's how it started Wow, and you went on a tour with them once already, and you're going again, like, uh, well, September or something? We did or? some dates. We did some one-offs, you know, a couple of times. I think we've done, you know, like, six shows with them, and then we took a break and toured with Steel Panther, and then we did another handful of shows. But this will be, like, a real tour, like, so we're really excited. So who are some of your influences? I mean, my biggest influence is, is, is Axl Rose, and, you know, I mean, Bon Scott, um, I like Elvis, I'm a huge Elvis fan, you know, but uh, I mean, those are my, my biggest influences. How did you come to the name of Hillbilly Herald? Well, you know, when we started this thing, my, my brother and I, my brother was a huge influence in my life, you know, like just keeping me on track and, you know, I always run everything by my, by my brother and, and he's been a big part of creating everything, you know. So when we sat down to do it, I, you know, I wanted something that kind of like, when I wrote the first record, a lot of that was dealing with issues of my father and stuff, you know. So when we were writing it, I thought, well, you know, let's pay homage to him. And my dad, you know, is a real deal. My family is real deal hillbillies from Cabin Creek, West Virginia. I mean, they're the real deal. Do you have any advice for uh, people that want to start bands and get out there? You no, know, I, I just think it's 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 just a work work ethic. I don't think that anything in life can't you you know can't not be done. Does that make sense? You know, I, I just think that you just have to get up every day and you have to beat the other person out of the shoot that day. I mean, you know, you got to work your ass off. It's it's not easy. People think that it's this glamorous life, and it's just it's not. The reality of it is, is it's it's a lot of work. Awesome. Is there anything else you want to add, or? I just want to say thank you for all your help because you've been there and really helped us out. And I I've enjoyed it. it. So what's next? I mean, you're doing the record, and we're gonna do this record. It's gonna be an EP. You know, we've got like eight tracks, I think, and then, uh, you know, we're having a music video done right now. We're having the artwork for the album. You know, I wanted to really do like a throwback album cover. So we're actually having an art artist design the album cover like you would get in, you know, in the 70s. But, you know, the music this time around, too, is going to be more modern. And how do the people on the blog find you? You can go to hillbillyherald.com. And it's Hillbilly Herald with an E. H-E-R-A-L-D, yes. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter. Jimmy Harold at Hillbilly Harold. There you go. Awesome. Okay, and here's a little bit of Hillbilly Harold doing Shame on Me. Always put on your Sunday's best. Man said things you shouldn't have said. Should have shut my mouth instead. Man lied when I shouldn't have lied. Should have told the truth and swallowed my pride.
Aesthetic V-Blog signing off with Jimmy Harold, and we'll catch you next time.